And here's the lowdown. Abe must free the living Mudokkan still enslaved by their captors, save the spirits of his dead Mudokkan ancestors, and sabotage the evil cartel's businesses, including the Soulstorm Brewery. Got it? So what about the farts? Did they make it in? You know, it'd be funny. What if Abe possessed his fart? I mean, <laughs> at that point, we couldn't do anything but that. Abe's behind yet another Game 1 secret. When Abe broke out of Rupture Farms, that was one of the first things he saw was this moon. And as he put it, in the face of the moon was my was paw. My and he puts his hand up there and it links up, and then his fate is really kicking in. But how did the paw get embedded in the moon? Well, like many movie mysteries, this one began in a not-so-mysterious way. It's all budget, right? What can you do and how much time and how much money? But what got edited out is those, as he was escaping, there was supposed to be a meteor storm hitting that moon, slowly forming this hand, so that it would imply that there's these greater forces that are really behind him, that are trying to send him symbols. Now that we know the secrets, here are some magical movie moments. I'm a fan of the movies as well. I mean, I'm just as stunned as I could be. And their enthusiasm proves to be historical, coming to life on screen in more than 22 minutes of mini movies. In 1999, they compose an animated short film from their movie game footage and submit it for an Academy Award. Would Abe actually get a chance to meet Oscar? And if he did, what in the world would he say? So we decided, why not? Our computer graphics, our movies, our cinematics, in our games really are, are quite cool. And so we decided, let's submit it. Abe doesn't win the Oscar. So he ditches a career in movies and shifts his interest to music, landing himself a lead role in a German dance band's video. This isn't something someone's going to watch once. It's gonna be every time they click on the TV and sit back and go, oh, here is a video, that's good. You kind of charge into it going, wow, this is something lots of people are going to see lots of times. The video becomes a huge hit, and Abe plants his spot as an international star. We interrupt this program. Coming up, Oddworld makes a decision that some fans say, I am screwed. And Abe gets a sidekick. Uh, He's a belcher. By the year 2000, Oddworld Inhabitants produced two successful releases that sold more than 4 million units worldwide. Their collection of odd characters were embraced by gamers everywhere. We did our games on the PSX for Sony, and they were great. They were really great supporters. We were very happy being with Sony. Yet that fall, Oddworld drops the bomb on their fans. News for you, Blue. Announcing they've agreed to create future versions of the Oddworld Quintology exclusively for Microsoft's upcoming Xbox. The Xbox is the content machine today. That machine is the machine that if creative minds are together, they can deliver better content on it. That's it. But fans are infuriated. When our fans found out that we had done that, we got more hate mail than you can even imagine. Somebody's really pissed off. Blasphemy it was. We, we had a feverish uh, upswing. I go to the web, and you can't help but read the web. And there'll be some people, like, you know, talking crazy talk. I am totally screwed! And, uh, man, that hurt. That hurt. It means they care that much. People believe so much in that universe. Can you imagine touching a human being so much to the point where they so believed in that character they so identified with the world that we created. They so believed that Abe wouldn't do that. Abe wouldn't go there. Abe wouldn't react that way. For Oddworld, the changes are monumental. The crispness was kind of chilling. 
you to, to get right up in the screen and kind of look for jagged lines or look for a time delay. You have your face kind of on the screen, just no, 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 the apes still there, no, no, and then your hair would fall out. Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, the third game from Oddworld, premieres along with the Xbox for Christmas 2001. My name is Munch. And Munch, the lonely yet ambitious Gabbit, makes his debut appearance. He was the last one, so he really embodies sort of loneliness and loss. But he had to be distinguishable in a different way. And he goes, I can't find anybody. You know, when he'd say things like that, They'd just be like, oh, you know, and that's what we're trying to do, hit the heart, hit the heart, but in a twisted world. You've got a monoped with two hands and this huge head uh, who's aquatic, and yet he's kind of a land animal, too, and can speak, and he's got a radar on top of his head. You know, you have to feel for the guy. You've got to like the guy, or at least I like the guy. Hey, what's happening? Hello, Abe. Hey, Munch. Uh, he's a belcher. <laughs> Great. We, we got our farter, <laughs> and we got our belcher. Uh, Don't tell anyone. Uh, <laughs> it is funny. Hey, that's nasty. I mean, Munch is funny. Uh, Munch is another clueless character and it happened. that pulls your heartstrings because he's the last of his kind. He's a gavel. <laughs> In Oddworld, Munch's Odyssey, Munch tries reaching the last of the Gabbit eggs, while Abe hunts for Mudokin eggs, which contain his unborn brothers. They must complete their quest before they're stopped and killed by the evil Vikers and Gluckins. Oddworld tackles yet another taboo issue by allowing Munch to occasionally use a wheelchair as his mode of transportation. Let's take something that we have an association with, and let's change that. Let's look at that association, knock it apart, put Munch in it, and make it a power-up. It's the best way to get around, given what he has. Nothing wrong with that. So, again, something for people to kind of look at and go, this guy's really cool, this guy's really goofy, this is fun. But not all of Munch's assists come from a set of wheels. He gains unnatural boosts of energy from power-ups. Oddworld's version of soft drinks. We go to a vending machine, we get caffeine. Well, they go to a vending machine, they can run 50 times faster. And Lauren takes a well-deserved moment to reflect on the magic of Oddworld. I think when we got shadows to cast directionally, and the way that that looked and the lighting, and the way that that matched the characters, there were certain points, like when we'd be going through the testing, I'd be going, I'd be going, that, that looks good, that looks good. Okay, make it great. Blow people away, okay? The game looks great. In spite of the protests, Oddworld fans remain loyal and follow Abe to Xbox, picking up new fans along the way. Oddworld Munch's Odyssey becomes a worldwide hit. With three highly successful games, a string of awards, and fans around the globe, what will the Oddworld inhabitants come up with next? We'd like Oddworld to turn into a family event. It'll be like turning on The Simpsons. When you turn The Simpsons on, everyone sits down and watches. That's hilarious. Yeah. When you turn on Oddworld... Come on, Abe. We're right behind you. Right behind right you, Right behind you, Abe. Okay. Here we go. It will be a family sitting on the couch and going, Oh, Mike, did you see that? Whoa, that's too high for me. That's hilarious. That's our future. Guys, that is sweet. There's a lot of, I think, what has to define Oddworld is creativity. And the day that it's not defining that for the public, I think we've got major issues. We have to see that we're getting stale before our audience does. Naked mud wrestling. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I don't know, because every time we see the production art that comes down the pipe, after a while we're like, wow, this is, this is nutty, this is great, how are we going to do this? I have no idea. I need a coffee. And then we actually do it.
we're going to create games as we move into the future where people won't debate what's the future of entertainment. They'll be like, no, video games are going to override motion pictures. And we're going to hit that mark. And I'm not claiming anyone's hit it yet, and us either, but we will. They're going to be very surprised. Let me just say that. The next game that we're creating, I think, is going to be not what they expect. I probably shouldn't say anything more about it but that. And what's coming and what people are going to be playing, it's just going to blow them away. It transcends what they think is possible. And it's not that far around the corner.